Hey, Jerry, Pat Freeman from 105.5, uh, the beat. Uh, tough loss for you guys. I know you're one of the senior guys out there. How disappointing is this loss? But at the same time, you have to say that this team uh, was very successful. I know it doesn't feel that way right now, but you're playing an AFC championship game, a place that uh, you haven't been in your career, but you guys have had a very successful season. Yeah, you know, we had a great year. Certainly we like to see things happen differently tonight. You know, I just felt like me personally, I let the guys down. You know, there's a couple of times, especially out there on the field, I got some nice intel just from my film study and just seeing how they were aligning their formations up. I should have just took some shots, especially on that goal line. We knew that there was going to be a shovel pass. I got to be all over that. So uh, this is a tough one to swallow just because, you know, uh, we got to where we, we we were so close, you know, climbing that mountain and to be so close and then to get knocked down sucks. But, uh, you know, we got a great group of guys in the locker room. I know we're going to have a tremendous offseason where guys are going to, you know, feel this feeling and know what it takes to get back here. So, you know, tip your hats to the Kansas City Chiefs. They play well tonight. Uh, my last question to you, Jerry, is I know you are a strong family guy. I've known you for a lot of years. With that thought in mind, how difficult has this season been to end this way, but also to know what you and every one of your teammates, the coaching staff, the organization, and entire NFL, just to play this season, uh, what you have had to gone through, uh, basically what you had to go through as far as your family and uh, to play the game also. Yeah, you know, it was a tough year just not having family around because, you know, they're my number one support group. Someone that, I, like I said, you know, I find them in the stands, kind of give them a look before I go out there and just try to tear someone's head off. So, uh, you know, it was tough not having that support, especially with my kids being four and three. There's a lot of questions coming from them where they see people at the games and they want to be there. But, you know, it was a difficult year for everybody. I felt, felt like the guys, you know, rebounded well. We, we responded well to all the new rule changes as well as we could and just uh, fell short today. Well, thanks a lot, Jerry, and congratulations on a great season. Thank you, Hey, Jerry, AJ Feldman here in Rochester. Um, on, in that second quarter where they got those three straight touchdowns and it, things just started to seem like they were snowballing, just what was it kind of like on the sidelines as it seemed like everything they could do, um, they were just kind of getting it done out there? Yeah, you know, we were frustrated, but we kept saying that we need to find a way to get a stop and flip the field, you know, let our offense have a crack at a short field instead of having to drive the fall or drive the ball the full length of the field. So I think for us, we were just trying to find ways to stop the bleeding. You know, it's a high powered offense, a well coached team. They got a great head coach and a great offensive coordinator. So for us, uh, you know, we just tip, tip our hats to them. They came out and they played well. They were a better team than that. All right, thank you. Congrats on the season. Yep. yep. Gary, John Warrow, AP, how you doing? Doing well, John. How's it going? Good. Um, in, in as, as frustrating and disappointing as it is to knowing, to knowing you didn't make it to the, you're not going to make it to the next step, how encouraging was this season in knowing you did make, this team made strides this year? Uh, you know, every year we talk about getting to the Super Bowl, winning our conference, winning our division. So I think as far as, far as our goals, you know, we fell short, but you know, the team being as young as we are made tremendous strides given the circumstances that, you know, everybody was dealing with this, this season. It was great to see the guys re respond well throughout the year and, you know, just keep their heads down and just take care of business. I think that's something that we kind of pride ourselves on is we try not to worry about the outside world, just keep our head down and just get to work. You know, we uh, fell short tonight. The Chiefs played tremendous ball. We didn't bring our A game. And so, uh, the results stand as they were, but I felt like, you know, this feeling, we're going to remember this feeling in the offseason. I think it's something that will carry us through. And just last thing, this team has learned it can it, it can correct the mistakes that it's made from the past um, or from one season to the next. So kind of building off of that, what gives you the confidence that you can match up with a team like the Chiefs and Mahomes in the future? I'd have to say the locker room, the atmosphere after the game, everybody understanding that, you know, when you come into somebody's house, you got to you gotta be on top of your game. There's no slip ups, slip ups, excuse me. There's no times for errors or anything. So to see a young group understand that, especially with this magnitude of, of this game and being so close, you know, we're 
we climb that mountain and you know to be so close to getting on top of that i think guys are going to use this use this to kind of fuel our off season especially at home where you know a lot of this work that we're going to do is going to be on ourselves i, I feel like it's going to be a really good off season for us thank you very much jerry and congratulations on it. what 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 was a successful season despite this finish thank you john Hi, Jerry. It's Jay with the Buffalo News. Uh, you were able to get to Mahomes once uh, for a sack, but that was your only uh, sack as a team uh, of the game. What do you think about um, just the way that um, you guys were able to pressure him? Was it what they were doing maybe schematically to, to protect him that um, led you to maybe not generate as much pressure as you would have liked or needed to? Yeah, you know, they had a great scheme. Their offensive coordinator did a good job of moving the uh, pocket, we could kind of tell <clears throat> as the game went on that Pat wasn't as mobile as he normally was, so or is, I should say. So they did a good job throughout the game, moving the pocket, mixing up, you know, running past. But uh, for us up front, man, you know, there's a couple times where we had him in our arms and we got to get him down, you know. Their defense, they made those plays, and so that's why the result's in their favor. For us, you know, when a game is like this, we just got to capitalize and finish. I think that's just our biggest tool is that we'll, what we need to do tonight. <clears throat> Thanks, Jerry. Yep. Hey, Jerry, Joe here. Um, just curious because I think we all know when uh, when things like this un go this way, uh, Josh really puts it on himself and, and takes it hard. I'm just wondering what he was like in, in the locker room and, and being the guy that's been there the longest, it, it, did you have any words for him? Yeah, man, he's our leader, so, you know, Everything that he does for us has been tremendous. I, uh, you know, we try to tell him he doesn't have to put the whole team organization on, on his shoulders. It's a it's a three phase ball game. We got to show up for him in the offense on defense. You know, uh, our offense went out there and played well. We got to we got to show up, especially in that second quarter and in that third quarter. We talked about we just need to find a way to get two stops for them so they can get the ball back in their hands. Our special teams did a fantastic job of recovering the onside kick just to late in the game to give us some life. It's just, it's up to us. When you're on the road in a hostile environment, the defense, we got to show up. And there's a couple of times I felt like where myself personally, there were some plays that I saw. Uh, I studied film well and I saw some intel. I got I to gotta do a better job as a leader to put myself in position to make those plays so we can we can be on the winning side. So uh, Josh has done everything fantastic for us this year. He's got us to where we want it to be, you know. So for us on defense, we got to help them out. In a big game like this, we got to show up. When you're on the sidelines, when he's out there in, in the second half, you know, just uh, really running all over the field, just trying to make a play. What what's rolling through your mind mo more than anything as as you're watching that all unfold? Get down, get down. Please don't take a hit. And I think that's just me thinking the way I'm thinking as a defensive player. Guys are flying around trying to hit him, and he's the big, strong, physical talented runner and I know he can get the extra five, six, eight yards, but he does such a tremendous job with this arm of passing the ball around to our great receivers. Uh, so whenever he's flying around making plays, we love it just because we know he's going to give us our all or he's going to give it his all. And, you know, he's going out there leaving it all out on the line. When you see him scrambling around, making plays, trying to find open receivers, it's just, it's, it's fun watching. It's fun to be a part of. We just got to help him out on defense, man. It was tough tonight. We got to help him. Thanks, Jerry. Yeah. Hey, Jerry, Matt Fairburn here. Um, what'd you make of just how chippy the game got toward the end, second half of the fourth quarter? Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a physical ball game, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, as a defensive player, you want to make the sack, and uh, I applaud our offensive line for having our quarterbacks back just because, you know, once they blow the whistle, there's no need to throw them to the ground. So I, I applaud those guys for that. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what a team, a family is all about. You know, we understand playing hard football and playing tough, but when you take 17 to the ground, you got to you gotta answer that. And so uh, it's football, man. Things are going to get chippy. So it's just, it's, it is what it is. Did you feel like it was chippy for four quarters or was it sort of the emotions at the end that, that made it that way or? What do you think? Uh, it was chippy all four quarters. We played these guys earlier in the year at, at our house, so we were familiar with them. They were familiar with us. And, you know, it's it's football. It's a it's a contact sport. So you know, we we go out there and we try to hit people and jar the ball loose 
they do the same thing. So uh, chippy football game, that's, that, that's just good football in my mind.